Democracy 2016 coverage and new developments in the race for the White House here in Indiana. Indy this week's Jason Fechner joins us now with the story. Good evening, Todd and Erica. One of the candidates has confirmed a trip to Indiana, but first, the big question that many of you have asked us, what will the just-named GOP delegates do at a contested convention if we get there? Well, you ask, we get the answers. As we told you yesterday, Indiana's Republican Party named 57 delegates who will represent the Hoosier Republicans in Cleveland this summer, including the Lieutenant Governor, Indiana's Secretary of State, Congressman Todd Rakita, the Chairman of Donald Trump's Indiana campaign, Rex Early, and a member of the RNC who has pledged to fight Trump's nomination with any means available. All 57 of those delegates are bound to the results of the May 3rd primary here, but at a contested convention, they become unbound on the second ballot. I just got off the phone with Congressman Rakita in Washington. Here's what he said could happen if it gets to that point. Our rules show that, you know, the first ballot were bound by that vote entirely. Uh, but what a, how a convention is different than a regular voting process is that delegates to the convention are supposed to uh, use not only the, the, the intent of the voters from that May 3rd nominating process, but then their own uh, experiences and information and, and judgment that they get uh, primarily from the candidates that are still there in the second and third round. And so, you know, I'll be combining not only the intent of the, uh, of the primary uh, nominating process voters, but also uh, in, in the event that that candidate isn't there for a second or third round, you know, I'll have to take in uh, information from the remaining candidates themselves. And you know, that's what a convention is, and that's what my duty as a delegate is.